everybody my name is Zuzuka and this is Millennial Pennies I hope you guys are doing well I'm so sorry I haven't done this in a very very long time and if you were um, watching my videos and hoping that you know I might just be the next big youtuber I'm so sorry to have disappointed you by not being consistent my life has been you know changing dramatically um, my life has changed dramatically over the past couple of weeks I Okay, that's my dog barking i left my job and um just started a new one i Okay, so as I was saying, I just started a new job and, you know, left my old one. I am just trying to readjust my life into this new space. This, this It's a completely different world, although not entirely, actually. I'm, I'm, no, I'm lying. It's not completely new, but um, there's just certain things that I need to um get used to doing that you know i'm some things that i'm doing at a slower pace that i should be doing at a, a slightly faster pace and bloody 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 mm -hmm. so today i saw it fit that we talk about extra sources of income i have written a blog about this already and you know i think because of the simple reason that the unemployment rate in south africa is so high it's almost a given that we would want to have extra sources of income or multiple streams of income rather so you know because your job alone you know for some people might not even be enough to um cover the expenses you know i think it's 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 very rich of people to say you need to live beyond your you need to live beyond your means and just make sure that you're saving and investing but it's just not that easy for some people because even what you are you know what you're earning might just not be enough to sustain you you know what you are earning might just not be enough to even pay your bills you know to begin with it's just not enough it's just not e it's not as easy as just saying about um oh no you know save leave beyond your means sometimes it's a survival situation rather than you know I think it's easy to say to someone live beyond your means if they are spending money on luxurious things or not even luxurious things but unnecessary things so if you are spending your money on survival um on things that you need to survive i i i don't think it's just that that uh, we can use that blanket statement to take to say live beyond your means so there are three ways in which i think that um one can make extra sources of income i'm not going to say specific things like sell bananas or um teach people how to crochet or all of those things but i'm gonna say three ways broad statements or broad ways in which one can make extra sources um or one can get extra sources of income from or make um an extra means of um making money okay so i just needed to google how much how the um what the 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 actual unemployment rate is in south africa so that i can just refer to specific numbers unemployment rate in south africa there we have it and just speaking on that i was working in the road freight and it's actually 30 32.5 so it is that is around about 7.2 million people in South Africa that are not employed. That's a large number, okay? That's a large number. Those are a lot of households that do not have actual salaries coming in. Those are a lot of people that do not have actual salaries coming in. They, they don't have means of... They don't have means to get by. So I think it's th this video is very important for people who are unemployed, people who, you know, want extra sources of income. You you have your, your salary, but it's just not enough to get you by. If you are a student, for example, and you just want some extra things on the side, um, and if you 
have your money and it is enough to cover your expenses. You have your salary and it is enough to cover your expenses, but you just need a little bit more money. You know, I'm 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 probably one of those people in in this position. I my salary covers me enough to to pay for my bills, right? But I just can't afford to have some luxury things that I do want, you know. For example, I can't have I can't go out, for example, for about three times a month, you know, three to four times a month. I can't probably two is my max that I can go right now, like like proper go out and actually spend quite a lot of money, not just, you know, minor things. But like, do you understand what I mean? I can't just decide, but I'm going to go on this weekend trip. I can't just pick up and go. Do you understand? So if you need extra money for those things. I think this video is also going to be important to you. So, you know, I'm rambling right now. <laughs> so let's just get to the video and actually get to what you guys need to be doing to get your extra sources of income. Okay, so the first way in which I think one can make money is through selling items. So this can be your you know, door to door selling whatever product that you want to sell. You can do online uh, store selling. You can do your social media, social media marketing selling, you know, if, if that's the term, but there are a lot of ways in which you can sell and you just need to determine what you need to sell and how you'll market it to people. So, you know, a lot of people always say that, mm, I don't know how to sell. Uh, honestly, just determine, do you want the money or not? Do you want to make the money or not? And a lot of people honestly do make their money through selling door to door. The ones that are usually undermined are the ones that make the most money, honestly. Okay, well, hmm. depending. <laughs> so, someone, for example, is selling plates. Name. Every day you're there selling your plates. Each plate costs 30 rands and you sell that to 10 people, you know? And you're making about 300 rand. A day and that's not a lot but you make it more than some people who are actually going to work every day just think about that um, so I'm not gonna tell you which items to sell you determine all yourself for yourself what it is that you think you'd be good at selling and you know I do this personally I sell handmade crochet items and I don't think I'm the best um, salesperson in the world nor am I very good in my marketing right now but it, it is something that I'm working on so again this is not going to be something that you're going to be perfecting perfecting in 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 in, in, in you know uh, um, in one go but it's a it's a work in progress so do sell something it does make a difference I've noticed for myself we you know in some months where I just feel like I'm really pressed in someone and I make a couple of sales and I'm just like this is so good you know my life is just not that bad because I am able to make some sales and actually get through the month, so to speak, right? Um, so, you you know, for some people, you're very good at your skincare things. So, Avon would might be the perfect um, thing for you to sell. Some people, you really like home decor things and you like uh, dishes, you know, you like, um, I don't know, you like pots. Um, Avon and this other, not, not Avon, brother, Tapaway and um, this other brand that sells pots. Uh, I forgot it right now. But that might be the way to go for yourself. Some people sell clothes, you know, on Instagram. I've seen that a lot on Instagram. I've seen people selling clothes on Facebook as well. You know, you can use this. There's this um, um, platform called Yaga where you can sell you know pre-loved clothes there and you can post your clothes there for you know all your prices you set up the store for free you i think you only pay when you make a sale a certain portion of of your of your sale i'm not quite certain on this but you can have that i i will leave the description on my of my blog um, the link of my blog that I wrote on this on the description that basically is um, has a link to the the yaga store where you can set it up and sell your items there very simple just master your marketing in that so that's the first tip second tip you need to render services so what this means is basically if you are a programmer for example at, at um, work 
and you want to help people set up their websites, uh, you want to help people set up, what, what do programmers do? I don't know. But I think setting up websites is like the main thing. And that is something that people have been, you know, trying to do, especially now during the, the, the pandemic, we're now getting into the more electronic um, side of things. So we're trying by all means to not meet up and do things. So people want to set up online stores. People want to set up, um, you know, you can even do your online shopping we pick and pay now and check us i think so that's great so those people need your services render your services be professional about it set it up set up a whole thing website for yourself you know uh you can render your services if you are for example a lawyer you can render your services through proofreading people's contracts and just be careful not to get into some legal problems with this one <laughs> um you can render your services through proofreading people's contracts or even drafting contracts for certain people. Uh, rendering your services outside of your workplace by, for example, consulting with certain people, providing legal advice to people. And that's not cheap, you know? People can pay enough money for that. And you can even um, change that to an actual... Um, you can even, you know, register a whole law firm from doing this. But you need to determine how good it is, how good you are in the field yourself without, you know, the the work that is provided to you by your law firm. Um, so, I mean, I, to my understanding, people who work in law firms do um, approach clients as well. So oh, this might not be the case for all law firms. Don't get me wrong. But there are some that do. So this is one of the ways in which you can render your services to people i when i was in university i used to braid people's hair that was me rendering my services to people you know me um what else what else well the handmade items are not really me rendering services to people i'm just making it for them and selling it to them i wouldn't say that's me rendering my services to them but me braiding people's hey that was me rendering my services to people so if you're very good at doing your makeup doing your own makeup and actually doing other people's makeup um that is also you rendering services to other people you guys are great cooks you know you can offer your catering services to people People now are now doing small weddings and stuff, but they don't want to do it themselves. They don't want to do the cooking and everything themselves. Render your services to people. Do that. Do all of those things because you are very good in that. Speaking of cooking, I just realized something about myself. You know, for the longest time I actually thought I could cook, but now I'm just like, mm, mm, no, not really. It's no, not great. <laughs> I actually cook gag. Um, so the last way in which you can, um, make money is to teach, teach a skill. What this means is that, what this means is that, for example, if you know how to do something, like I mentioned, I know how to crochet, right? And I've actually been getting a lot of people asking me to teach them how to crochet and I've just been uh, referring them to YouTube. But this is something that I can do for myself. This is something that I can make money off of. If I teach people how to crochet, either, rather, um, either by um, posting videos of myself crocheting, teaching them, you know, how to start crocheting, your beginner videos, your um, more complex videos, more complex um, stitches, for example, all of those things. That is you rendering a service to people. And some people are willing to pay for that. So you can put your courses, let's use crocheting in this particular instance. You can put your crochet um, courses on Skillshare, for example, on uh, Udemy, for example. I have those links on my blog. I will not be going in detail about that um, in this video. But these are basically platforms where you can sell your courses. So your videos, whatever uh, content that you created that teaches people a certain skill, you can post those videos on those platforms and people can pay either by way of subscription subscription, or actually paying for that specific video or that specific um, course. So you need to understand that there are those platforms that allow you to do that. Or you can do YouTube, you know. YouTube... You know, for a lot, a lot of things that I have learned in my life, uh, a lot of other skills that I've learned in my life, and now that I'm older, that was through YouTube crocheting, for example. I definitely started, and and now I'm actually good at crocheting through YouTube. So that is one of the platforms in which you can teach your skill that you know. Teach other people skills. Teach other people how to cook. If you're very good at cooking, 
You can teach other people how to cook. Teach me how to cook, please. Teach me how to cook. I need some tips on how uh, I can make my food better, basically. Um, teach people how to, if, if people, for example, want to lose weight, but don't necessarily want to not eat certain things. Um, you, or, for example, losing weight without necessarily eating rabbit food, you know? You have advice on those things. You can teach people that. There are so many doctors, for example, now who are, influences so to speak <laughs> but they teach people um things on you know they teach people certain things about their own bodies some things that you wouldn't understand about your own body for example if you had back injuries there are some doctors that, that actually teach you about what what it is that you need to do to get rid of that your some body body aches for example how to get rid of that there are so many things that you can teach to people now that you know your information or whatever it is that you are teaching people would not go to waste and i uh, i'm sort of trying to do that right now with this youtube channel i'm really hoping that it works or at least i'm, I'm working on trying to make it work if it's not working right now to teach both myself and anyone who is watching these videos how to manage their money better so yeah that really does bring me to the end of this video first things first sell an item whatever it is that you think that you can be able to sell so think of any product that you really really like and how you can recommend that product to other people you can do this by either doing door-to-door -door sales your online stores um by making use of yaga uh, your social media platforms and and the likes you can do your handmade um items and sell those or you can even do affiliate marketing where you're selling other people's products um, and getting a commission through that. Secondly, you need to teach a skill. So this is through, you can do this through Udemy um, by, by doing, you know, posting a course of, say, for example, teaching people how to lose weight, teaching people how to cook, teaching people how to um, crochet, teaching people how to, a lot of these things, you know, do their hair, braid their hair. That's one of the things. Um, and the last one, you need to know how to render your services. You need to render your services rather to people. So this can be by way of, you know, using the example of a lawyer by perusing some people, people's documents and, and actually um, recommending some changes there and there. People get into natural, uh, prenatural um, agreements that are not very favorable to them. So they might need your advice, you know. Um, you need to, if you if you want to render your services, you can do consulting services for legal services, for example. Um, people who, you know, if you are very knowledgeable in 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 in, in text, for example, you can make use of this because I, for one, do not understand text whatsoever. You can make consulting services for text for people who don't understand text and they need, you know, you that is the one thing that you can't run away from. You need to comply with your text laws. But it's just very difficult for many people to understand. So if you know that you can, you understand this this, this specific topic and you would like to, to have other people understand this specific top topic as well and probably manage their texts, <laughs> um, either, you know, the, in their the personal tax, your income tax, or your business um, tax, for example. So that can be also another way of, of rendering your services to people. You can also just do house braiding. I said braiding. I said, I told you guys that I was braiding people's hair. So you can also just braid people's hair to render your services. There are a lot of ways in which you can render your services to people. Right, so sell, teach a skill and render services three ways determine which one works for you and stick to that and do try to perfect your craft through that because sometimes you know when you're starting you might not be very good so work your way into being better at that and I, you know i'm trying that is what i'm trying to do myself um in all of these things i'm trying to be better at all of these things this you know, I'm, I might not be perfect now, but, you know, come two years, come to come three years, come, you know, probably a week from now or months from now, I might be getting better at that specific thing. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. And if you did, please do like this video and comment down below and do subscribe 
you do that by clicking that red button. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.